kind of create some of the learning experiences that are going to go on while we're in the classes. And the idea behind this is not that you're going to sit in a traditional computer science or science class and take notes and take tests and do things in a way that kind of education for you is kind of it. It's to get you outside of Somerset Berkeley. Some of you, there were 15 of you that I think were in here, um, that went on a field trip yesterday to St. Anne's Hospital and you got to kind of shadow people and see what it's like to be in a hospital. Part of what we want to do is get you in this class outside of Somerset Berkeley and going on field trips and shadowing people and seeing what it's like to really be in these types of careers. Another goal of ours is to get you some certifications while you're in high school that you can put on a resume and take with you to college to say, I'm already certified, for example, in Excel or Google or things like that. So these are opportunities never, ever, ever I have students at our school been allowed to have that we're looking to promote. Why are we doing this? Because the jobs that you guys are about to have in your lifetime are unlike anything that has ever happened before in, in any of our lifetimes. Okay? And we don't even know what kind of jobs are going to be out there. And that's some of the stuff that we're going to talk about today and things that you're going to talk about moving forward. So let me introduce you to the players. This is Mrs. Hassel. She's the director of curriculum <coughs> for the R district and the K-8 district. Um, so she's kind of spearheaded this, kind of, she's our, our champion, our cheerleader. Um, and you're going to know in a couple minutes what I mean by our cheerleader. <laughs> you all know this lovely lady, Mrs. Takuto, uh, who may have shoved some of you in here as well, even though it's under my name, she might have put some of you in here. Mrs. Ashley, where's Mrs. Ashley? Mrs. Ashley is our contact coordinator in um, engineering and technology. And Mr. Talbot is our contact coordinator in science. If you don't know them, as part of this program, if you're interested, you will. Who are we missing? Mrs. Coogan. Oh, my friend, Mrs. Coogan. Back here. Director of guidance. She um, has also been working on this. The reason I introduced you to all these people, number one, is they're all going to be talking to you. But also, these are people that, if you have questions after today, you want to come find one of those. Because on February 27th, which is the Blue Raider block when we come back, you're going to be signing up for your classes, and this, these are going to be options. The reason Ms. Peckham is going to be videotaping this um, is because after this presentation, we're all going to put this on the somersetberkeley.org website. And the reasoning for that is so that your parents, if you're interested and you go home and you say, hey, I want to take this class, and your parents are like, what are you talking about? Because they didn't get educated when they went to high school in the way that this class is going to run. It's something that we are going to put up so they can watch this presentation too and see what's being offered because it's really an exciting time. It's an exciting program. So with that, so I'm actually just going to add on to that because you also have some people who are not in this room that you know and you're going to be going through this and you're going to be thinking, oh hey, I have a friend who might be interested in this too. You're, this is an exclusive group, but you can tell the others and they would have the opportunity right. to sign up also. That's right. So um, we're actually, I'm going to go ahead and cue the video, and we're going to start with that because this introduction was fabulous. So just a couple minutes to watch this. Uh, it may be up the top. Yep. Thank you.
words. In that video that you just saw, I want to know three things that you either saw or you didn't see. So I want you to turn and talk about that video to your partners. I'm going to give you about a minute. I want you to go to that site and I want you to give me three things that you either saw or you didn't see in that video. Go. Remember, everybody doesn't have to. You can do it by yourself if you want, but talk about what you saw or you didn't see in that video. Absolutely. Teachers, feel free to respond as well. Absolutely.
Oh, I lied. Stop. Okay, so we like the interactive things. I did school, it was a couple years ago. I was a teacher for a long time. I have to tell you, it's been a long time since I've been in front of a group of students, especially a group this, this large. So thank you all so much for your kindness and your engagement. But I was never that student that liked to just sit there. Oh. So we're going to do a kahoot. You guys have done kahoot before? So I, again, I want you to take your phones out, okay? questions, and some of this may actually end up about what you maybe don't want to do. 
But you get to try it now and not invest all that time, energy, effort, and money when you get to college because you're going to know that you don't want to do it or you're like, oh my gosh, this is everything I thought it was going to be and I want to do more. Next question, please. The three pathways are healthcare, computer science, IT, and biotechnology.
related to technology, and those are resume builders that um, you're not necessarily going to get from a college degree. It's something that you can get on your own, and you don't have to be a certain age to do it. True or false, the biotech pathway connects science and technology for lots of courses. <laughs> for biotechnology. Uh, one of the things I want to point down, the fourth bullet down, biomedical engineer, a lot of times uh, students will say, oh, I want to go to college for engineering, but they never really know what that means. And uh, through this pathway, we're actually giving you a couple of different options for uh, really looking into different fields of engineering besides of, you know, uh, what you may think uh, that a career is all about. You're going to see some overlap between biotechnology and the healthcare field, as well as some uh, with the computer science fields. Uh, so, same kind of situation where you'll uh, be exposed to some of the uh, real world problems and training and skills that uh, people in those careers use today, uh, you'll actually have in the classroom through our Project Lead the Way um, uh, class. The other thing I want to point out is that when we put these up here and then we share the, uh, this document, uh, we have the different uh, levels of certification and participation. So we talked about nurse practitioner, sort of uh, a registered nurse, uh, an LPN, which is a licensed practical nurse, and even a CNA. So there's options for all types of uh, levels of learning as well as uh, what you really want to put into it. All Innovation Pathway students will take two advanced courses. <laughs> So this is 
question was true, and just like the question uh, previous to it, um, they don't always have to be advanced placement. Um, so science, for example, will be offering one project through the weight class next year, the principles of biomedical science, and then the following year will be body systems. And for computer science, a technical course that we have um, that's new for next year, it's not project lead the way, um, but one of our teachers um, is writing the curriculum for this. It's a video game design course. So that's a technical course that can count toward your innovation pathway. And um, I think it sounds like fun. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I have a question. Once you sign up for Innovation Pathways, we own you. <laughs> Almost there. 